To determine whether the operation star is a binary operation or not, we simply need to look at the closure property. Okay. If we are going to pick elements on a given set, and if the resulting uh, value using the binary operation or the operation indicated will, uh, will still fall into the same set, then we could say that the operation is a binary operation. Well, of course, the first thing we need to consider is whether the um, set is non-empty. Our set here is Z+. plus. That would mean it's a set of all positive integers, which of course starts with, you have here 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, they are all positive um, integers. Okay, let's just have it like that because we have infinitely many uh, elements on the Z set Z plus. Then if we are going to consider the star given here being the operation defined as A star B is equal to A to the power of B. If all elements or, or all results of this would fall on the same set, then we have established the closure property and we can say that the operation is binary. Of course, if we are the smallest possible value that we could use here is the 1 star 1, okay? which will give us 1 to the power of 1 because 1 is A and 1 is B, which will give us 1. And this is still an element of Z+. plus. Is it already enough for us to say that um, the operation is binary? Of course, not yet, because if there is only one um, counterexample, that would mean that the operation is not binary. Of course, you could also have here 1 star 2, that's 1 squared, which will be 1 element of Z+. plus. Now, you can have a lot of examples here. You could even try 2 star 2, 2 star 3, but uh, since we have infinitely many, we simply look at the possibilities of this. When can we say that A to the power of B is not an element of Z plus. Okay? That would mean the result is not an integer. Number one, if B is less than zero, right? Because if B is less than zero, we will have here a negative integer, which will give us a fraction. Let's say we have here one to the power of negative one. Uh, let's, not have, let's have another value. Let's say we have here 2 to the power of negative 1 being 2 star negative 1, right? That's a to the power of b. This is actually 1 to the power of 1, which will give us 1 half, which is not an element of z+. plus. However, take note, one of the items we used under the star operation is not also an element of z+. plus. Therefore, getting a fractional result is not a captured is not captured by this because in the first place what you applied here is not an element not an element of z plus okay so fractions are out of the picture how about irrational numbers let's say square roots uh, wh when could we get square roots that would mean if b is actually between 0 and 1 let's say 1 half you have 2 to the power of 1 half that's actually square root of 2 and this is not an element of z plus. However, your exponent of one half here is in the first place not an element of z plus. This would mean it's a guarantee that you will not be getting roots here or specifically square roots or irrational numbers as a whole. So what can we say about the operation star in this given definition? This is actually a binary operation. Because it is safe to say that for all elements in our Z+, plus, and will be defined using this operation, all of the results A over B, I mean A to the power of B, are elements of Z+, plus, and hence we have established the closure property. This is an indication that our star here is a binary operation under the same set. Thank you very much for watching.